When it comes to making content online, especially for TikTok, your niche is single most important decision that you'll make. Choosing between a good and bad niche can be the difference between tens of thousands of dollars and your video flopping. In this video, I'm going to showcase to you this crazy new niche that's been taking over TikTok, and yet when I looked on YouTube, there weren't any videos talking about it. The top 1% of accounts in this niche clearly don't want people talking about this. Unfortunately for them, I'm here to help you out and show you exactly how to create these video for yourself. So the niche that I'm talking about is this 80s dark fantasy niche. This account has grown to over 800,000 followers posting this unique style of content, and each of their videos are getting millions of views. It doesn't take a genius to realize that this account will be generating tens of thousands of dollars each month. Let me show you one of their videos so that you get an idea. tell, there isn't actually that much going on in these videos, and that's the secret to it all. I'll now show you exactly how to recreate this content for yourself so that you can begin generating thousands from this niche. Real quick, if you really want to take this a step further, then join my school community. Now the first thing that we need to make sure is that our TikTok account is set up correctly. Now if you're outside the creativity program regions, then don't worry, I have accounts for sale in this video's description. You also want to head to your accounts for you page and scroll and interact with relevant videos. Finally, make sure that you wait 24 hours before posting. With our account set up, we can now begin creating the content. In this video's description, you can find a Google Doc with literally everything that we're going to use in this video. The first thing that we want to do is to think of some video ideas. Head to ChatGPT, and I'll start by asking it for some pop culture characters that I could turn into 80s style images. Don't worry about getting the prompt perfect, as I'll leave the exact prompt in the Google Doc for you to copy. As you can see, the AI has begun to spit out us a list of characters that we could use for our video. The AI said Spider-Man, and I think the video topic of superheroes would work really well. I'm now going to ask the AI for a list of superheroes, and to be specific, 25 in total. I've but 10 to save me time, but 15 is ideal. This is because 15 is the perfect number that we need to get our video over one minute long. Once your prompts are done, we now need to begin gathering images for our video. This is so that we can give an AI an idea of what to generate. To do this, head to Google Images. Once here, I'm gonna firstly search for our first superhero, which is Spider-Man. You now need to find a good image, which really showcases the character. This is so that the AI knows exactly what to generate. Once you have an image, right-click it and save it to your device. We now need to repeat this process with every superhero on our list, find an image and save it to your device. Obviously, you don't have to use superheroes, and your content will change for each video, but this is just for this video's example. With all our images downloaded, we can now go and generate our images. Head to Leonardo AI using the link in the Google Doc. Once you're on Leonardo, you want to hit this image creation button in the middle of the screen in order to go to the generation page. Once you're on here, there's a few settings that we need to change. The first one is this switch in the top right that says Legacy Mode. We need to enable this switch, as this will allow for us to save credits down the line. With this enabled, we now need to change a few settings on the left here. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you're generating one image at a time, and you can do this under this menu here. You next want to scroll down and under Advanced Controls, set the ratio to 9 by 16. Now hit this padlock and drag the sliders all the way to the right so that your images will be in the highest ratio possible. The final thing you need to make sure is to make sure that your generation model is set to Leonardo Lightning XL. Rewatch that part if you need to make sure that you have the settings exact. There's one more thing we need to change. Hit this image guidance tab here. Once on the next page, click any of the buttons that say add an image to get started. On the next page, you then want to click the upload an image to get started button. Now upload the first image that we got from Google Images. Once it's uploaded, select it. On the next page, we'll now go ahead and change a few settings. To change the first setting, you want to click this drop down button here. On the drop down, you want to scroll down and select the one that says character reference. Once that's selected, head below that and set the strength to low. This will ensure that the AI generates the right character. With this done, you now want to enter this prompt into the generation box. I'll leave the exact prompt in the Google Doc, but you want to replace the last bit with the character that you're making. Once that's in place, hit generate, and Leonardo will start making your image. 
I'll skip to when this is done. As you can see, we now have this super clean 80s style of Batman, and I think it looks really good. If you're happy with your image, we want to upscale it. This will make it more HD and make our video even better. Hit this upscale button next to the image and click through on the next page. This will take our image from great to even better. Once the upscaled image is done, that's our first image done. So you now need to repeat this process with every single one of your characters. This will obviously take some time, so I'll skip to when it's done. As you can see, we now have all our images ready. I think these came out super clean and will make for a good video. The next thing we need to do is animate our images. This is actually super easy to do. Hit the back button in the top left of Leonardo. Once you're on the next page, hit personal feed just below it. You can now see all the images that we created. To start, you wanna find and click on the first image that we created. Once on here, you wanna hit this image to motion button here. Now on the next page, we wanna change a few settings. The first thing you need to do is grab this slider and reduce its value to three. Once you've done that, hit generate. You wanna repeat this process for all our images. I'll skip to when this is done. You can now see that we have these animated images that are perfect for our video. All you wanna do now is download every single one and we can move over to the next step. Real quick, if you guys are struggling to go viral on TikTok, join my school community. We have a full TikTok guide for you to use, as well as a spreadsheet with over wide niches in it ready to use. Check it out in the video's description. We now want to edit our video, and to do this, I'll use CapCut. Once you're on Cap and have hit new project, start by importing everything we have gathered. We firstly want to add our first image to the timeline, so drag it in like so. You don't need to crop it or anything. Now add in the rest of our images, one after the other. Your timeline should now look like this, with all your images being in, and the video reaching over one minute long. The next thing we need to do is to get that old video effect. To do this, head to Effects. Once you're on effects, you need to look for two specific ones to add to your video. The first of which is this one called VCR. So you wanna drag this onto every single image in our timeline. After this, you wanna add the second effect, which is called JVC. Like the first one, drag that in on every single image. And I'll skip to when I'm done. I'm now going to add an adjustment to our video. Head to adjustment in the top left of CapCut, and you now wanna hit the plus button below the custom adjustment option. Once this new yellow bar is in place, we need to extend its duration across the entire video so that this applies to all our images. Now head to the top right, and the first thing we need to select is this color wheel tab. Scroll down until you find the option for tint. Slide this to the left to give your video this blue slash purple tint. With that done, head back to basic, and you now want to scroll all the way to the bottom. Once here, you want to adjust the vignette to 20 to darken the corners of our video. The last thing we need to do is add a transition to our video. Head to the transition tab of CapCut, and the transition that I'll search for is this one called Black Fade. You wanna drag it in between your first two images. Once it's in place, you wanna lower the duration to around 0.3 seconds. Finally, once that's done, hit this apply to all button to add transitions between ever seen. Our video is done now, so export it. Thanks for watching today's video. Remember to check out my school community. Bye.